Hello and welcome back to Bloodborne, part 29. In the last part, we met Redman. In this part, we say goodbye to Redman! <laughs> okay, he did not get run over by the boulder. That's what I was assuming was going to happen to him. Which would you rather have happen to you? We have run over by a boulder or fall stupidly into a pit? Ouch! It depends. Is the boulder loud? The boulder is pretty loud. All right, if the boulder is loud, I'd rather uh, fall into the pit then. Yeah. Because if there, if it's a loud boulder, then I can, uh, then I don't really have the excuse, well, I didn't know it was behind me. Because, you know, it's a loud boulder. You're going to know it's behind you. However, uh, if it's a quiet boulder, I'd be like, well, shit, that stuck up on me, and people could actually buy that. Beware of ambush. Beware of the ambush, which is why I'm not successfully hitting anything through the door. Even though there was somebody behind the door. So, this is a Summoner White. Yeah, he's, a. Uh, he, he, do, he does, actually. He does aggro all the other enemies like a Summoning White. Oh, so it's just it's just aggro. It's not an actual summon. He doesn't yeah. actually summon additional minions. Yeah, you can tell if a creature has been summoned if it has a red aura um, on it. Okay. Cloud, you did not successfully kill that dude. It's okay. You had door frames. Yes, door frames. Oh. I saw that. You evil, you, you evil uh, ballista turret. You evil bastards. <laughs> Remember, we're still in Dark Souls land. We, we can die of really cheap reasons at any moment. Um, isn't this just a shortcut back to the start of the Chalice land? It is, actually. Remember that <sighs> Remember that trophy room I left behind? It has been my pleasure to return you to it. So now it that... Has not been our pro it has not been our pleasure to uh, witness it, though. Well, let me tell you what we are going to witness. We're going to see that big freaking thing not to give up on behind purple lights we just have to not go the chow the treasure way which is which is where i went last time this way yes cloud you already went this way instead we're going to be heading for the lever that unlocks the boss door that unlocks the next child's dungeon that unlocks the next lever that unlocks the next boss door and eh, out of breath it's a sequence of progression Ah, a door, a door, an unopened door. Ooh, large treasure chest. Ah, here's something I actually did not even freaking find yet. You will give it to me. All right, so uh, for the bl for the blunderbuss variants, no, you you just hit them, then shoot them, and then, then they go into their stagger state. There's a, it's about a 50-50 chance that if you start meleeing him, he will either swing at you with his lantern, or will initiate another hold still, I'm trying to shoot you animation. Okay. <laughs> Bless us with blood. It, it, kind, kind of, tomb, tomb mold is good. You, you do need tomb mold. It is a, it is a necessary child's dungeon ritual material. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we want it. <laughs> we do want the shiny yellow lights in the distance. Yes, cold blood. No, no hopefully without falling off that uh, ledge. I totally <laughs> would have fell off that ledge there. Almost. Just just almost. This this, this game will send you to, to the edge. <laughs> to the edge of glory, as, as sung by uh, <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> that, too, is an edge to where it sends you. <laughs> Because glory is denied many times. <laughs> there was a perfectly usable ladder right there, Cloud. It, and as a person who has just recently played Quake 4, you don't really want to take chances with that in these kinds of games. Cloud also did not heed the warning that a prudent Quake 4 player would probably assume that don't come this way means don't come this way. <laughs> Too mold. Too mold. Yep, time for ritual materials. Ah, oh, glorious treasure. And ritual blood. Damn it. Righteous anger. Stupid box. But is it really righteous? Because you, cause you know once uh, pretty much... Oh, a jump cut. Yes. 
You I'm know like, pretty much when you enter the room if the switch is there or not. Well, now that I, okay, so this is this is where I would have dropped off to. So the switch is 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 getting warmer. You, you got to get out of the cold. You got to get out of cold land first. Oh, oh, oh my God! Hello, giant shambler. So these guys uh, like to appear at random in the higher difficulty child's dungeons. They are large. They're in charge, and they could smack the crap out of you in a series. All right. Are they a punishment for taking too long, perhaps? Something like that. Yeah, because I noticed that these guys don't appear at first. They usually appear when you return to an area you've already been to, signifying okay. that you're either lost or you're wasting your time. At which point or the both. game will the game will come in and annihilate your time. <laughs> Because uh, I noticed that the Chalice Dungeons uh, actually use similar uh, rulings as uh, uh, as Rogue Light uh, uh, games do, where the the dungeons are the dungeons are sprawling and it's easy to get lost. But um, usually, uh, if you bother to clear them out, you get pretty significant rewards. But there's also an, an undisclosed time limit that you have to consider. Yeah, your patience. Yes. Not just your patience. Usually there's a, a significant punishment for taking too long in an area in roguelite uh, dungeon crawlers. You well, know, fortunately in this game, there's no... Uh, you, know, you know what would happen in a roguelike version of this game is if you entered a whole chamber that was not just a few areas of poison fog, but the whole freaking area will get you poisoned, no matter where you are. That would set a time limit, draining your resources. When you run out of antidote and blood vials, you are dead. All right, so those are summoned units. Those are summoned so units, the yes. Summoner? Uh, the bell ringing woman is around here somewhere. You know, it's a good way to tease out where these guys are. Slay a couple of them, and then watch to see where they come from. So, but the problem is she wasn't in that room. No. As a matter of fact, the bell ringing woman doesn't even necessarily have to know where you are. She just starts some. She, the bell ringing woman starts summoning dudes as soon as you load a level. Now that I recall, just as long as there are no closed doors between you and the bell ringing woman. And which, which eventually spawns a very popular message called "No mercy for bonfires." <laughs> Now, is this a message from the game or from the players? For, from the players. It's it's a it's okay. a damn it's a damn good warning, by the way. Basically, meaning, if you load a place that says "Don't no mercy for bonfires," do not leave your game alone. Do not go in the other room or anything like that, because a creature will come up and kill you. Not just once, but enough times also to destroy your blood echoes. Huh. So we are summoning uh, an NPC companion. Yes. He's not okay. a he's not a particularly good companion. As a matter of fact, there are some downright terrible companions in the Chalice Dungeon. But the efficacy of the companion is not is not finally the point. The point is that now I have a buddy who can also take some hits for me. All right, Olek. Here's the plan. You're gonna go up to the boss, whatever it is, and you're gonna slash it in the face exactly twice. Then it's going to eat you and use your bones as a machine gun, and then I will die. Okay, you ready? Let's. I feel like you haven't thought out this 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 battle plan that much. Well, of course I haven't. Well, I, I'm a I'm a hunter, not a thinker. Although a majority of hunting is thinking. Strategy, hunt. Prey, position, opportunity, motivation. Full health. Alright, so... Is it... Uh, ooh, the Fumerian Descendant. New enemy type. And he's got a, da a dash sickle attack. And, he has, and he's very visceral. That makes him fun. <laughs> Whoosh! Whoosh! Whoo! He swings. 
They're singing. His short range swing is is a bit too telegraphed for uh, for his like. It's not his. It's not the damage he inflicts, nor is it his um his ability to veil his attacks. It's his speed that will kill you during this fight. Uh, specifically, if you don't if you don't read his charge. Or you. Because hmm. his charging swipe did like half your health. This of is course, what... it's a Dark Souls game, so. Yes. So he does a slight thrust forward every time he attacks. He wants you to back away in order to avoid him because that will leave you vulnerable to his subsequent attacks. A lot of bosses will do this. They will... Oh. Now okay, he... Okay, he has split his scythe into two sides. He's effectively using a gigantic version of the Blades of Mercy. The Blades of Mercy also... Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate that boomerang attack. No, that is because it's a boomerang attack that's not telegraphed that well. The Blades of Mercy Especially don't let you do it's that. It's fucking invisible. God damn. It's not. Well, it's it's not invisible. It's just. It's not actually invisible, but it looks fucking invisible. It's really hard to see. Yeah. All right. So, does he actually have a weakness to elect uh, to the electric status ailment or uh, or da or status damage? G creatures in general usually have a weakness to an element. That's that's why your weapon usually does not have an element by default. You said Oluk wasn't actually all that good. He's doing he's doing a decent amount of stun damage. Yeah, and he's but most importantly, he's distracting him. He doesn't have to do right. damage in order to be effective. He just has to get his attention. All right, come on, one more visceral. Some enemies are just asking for it. This guy is begging to be shot. Mostly because that's how you uh, in engage the stagger state for pretty much everyone in the game. Yeah, and stagger state is a lot more useful when you have lots of opportunities to use it! <laughs> Alright, the lower th uh, uh, Thamaru Chalice and uh, Blood Gem level 4. Yes. It's a, that is a high level Blood Gem. I just can't quite remember what it does because the game, like, it is all thanks to yourself. Eventually, you're in the know, right? I'm not sure if no, I, no, I am not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure if I. I'm not sure if I follow. Thirty-four people seem to agree. I'm. I'm not. I'm not the thirty-fifth. Mm. Back to the hunter's dream. Back to hunter's dream. Somewhere beyond the dream, somewhere crafting for me. If I could fortify my spear... <laughs> you have fortified your spear now. Nice. Alright, so the cold bl uh, damn blood gem level 4. You you didn't hold uh, on it long enough for us to read what it, it does. It, do it doesn't matter. I'm uh, the, the only... Th oh, oh <laughs> we have, we've done it. We have more power! <laughs> I thought that looked like you were switching blood gems as opposed to adding a second one on. I, I am switching blood gems because I've already I've already maxed out the number of slots I can use, so the only way I can improve my weapon's efficacy is by switching out inferior blood gems. All right. But now I'm interested in just getting seven more twin bloodstone shards so I can upgrade my spear once more. And once I upgrade my spear, not only will it inflict fire damage, but it will also gain me one unit one more unit of health every three seconds. Okay. So, uh, you're, uh, aren't you just gonna sell your level two and uh, your level two blood uh, blood gems to get enough blood echoes for this? Well, I mean, gosh darn it, I have like forty three thousand. I got forty three thousand blood echoes right now. I, I hope I don't need any more right now. Yeah, but you're like level fifty plus at the moment. Forty three thousand blood echoes is like a single stat point. Yeah, you know, it's a two 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 stat points, but yeah. Dang it. It doesn't help. <laughs> My doll friend these is sleeping. These flowers look very nice. I like these flowers. It's not even... I, I like to believe that there's not even really a wind blowing. They're just just—they're just moving autonomously. Alright. Mm, but that would mean that they have a limited amount of sentience. Yes. Probably a reflection of my sentience. Nap time's over. Time to power up. And in the next part, we are going to take our level 61 and kick some serious ass. 
At least, so says the cloud person. It has been a pleasure leveling up with your blessing. 